street lights used to turn on and off. They were totally isolated, but now there are new possibilities to control the lit environment with lights wirelessly connected to a central control system. With this, we can dim lights in the middle of the night in residential areas, and we can raise light levels where there's fear of crime. We can also adapt light levels in response to emergencies or to support specific events. And this fine control saves money, reduces the carbon footprint, and creates a better environment for our citizens. But highway lighting is a bit different. Lights are there to improve road safety, but for many roads there are long hours during the night where there is no traffic at all, so you end up wasting light, wasting energy and wasting money. Furthermore, traffic is unpredictable, so you can't just dim lights in the early hours, and in any case the quality of the light is tightly regulated in many countries. You also can't risk distracting drivers with rapidly changing street light intensity. The final challenge is that energy savings will not cover the cost of many traffic sensors, so lights will need to be controlled in groups to make the business case actually work. We use a radar-based traffic monitor attached to a light pole. A camera-based systems can also be used and they're available, but radar works better after dark and has no lens to clean. The traffic sensor wirelessly transmits raw traffic information to the data hub on a per lane, per direction basis. The Planet Central Management System then takes the raw traffic feed and its algorithms to make sense of it. First of all, the data is mixed into a rolling average to give a representative value for traffic volume. Then, the traffic level is compared to upper and lower threshold limits in the software. A hysteresis factor is added in to reduce the chance of too many sudden changes. And then finally, if required, a command is issued to wirelessly change the intensity of a group of highway lights. All of the factors are configurable in the Planet CMS system, but the operation is entirely automatic. And, if in the unlikely event of a network connection being lost, each on-light controller simply returns the light levels to the standard level. In recent deployments, the energy savings have been as much as 30% and with no compromise in road safety. And where highways pass through residential areas, citizens haven't noticed the lights gradually dimming and turning up. And by having LED lights running cooler for longer, longer life is expected. Municipalities spend a lot of money on traffic surveys to provide a snapshot of road usage. Permanent traffic sensors collect volume, type, speed and even noise levels. Not a snapshot, but a continuous monitor. Traffic data really matters. Traffic is a major contributor to air pollution in cities, so having more local real-time data is really useful. It can be correlated with air quality data and footfall data. City planners can then make better planning decisions, more likely to benefit citizens and the city as a whole.